Bang. So, Taco. Look, mate. Stand up tall. Pull your socks up. Give your head a wobble. And let's take Mr. McCambridge down, yeah? I'm not biased. So Taco with a big break, and it is a big break. He gets a ball. He might get two, not quite. Well, we won't analyze this game right down to the black, but we will certainly choose a color for Zach, and I think the color he might opt for could be reds, and I think he might go for the red nearest him. Oh, actually, there's a gap. Can you see the one over the pocket? If you can see the one over the pocket, you might just play that, but... No, he's just going to take the hardest red on the table. That's fair enough. I mean, when in doubt, stick the white in the pocket. Your opponent can't pop from there. Right, I need to... Uh, I'm, I'm getting myself... There it is, there it is. Getting myself back into this F12, F9, F10, F14, F52, B52, 94, 6, and he's in off! Oh! 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 Paul McCambridge with two shots puts the white straight back into the pocket. Zach Howard. Still open table. The first shot's a free shot. Go steady with this, mate. Go steady with this, mate. It's okay. It's okay. Does he know it's still open table? He doesn't. Okay, okay. So he's going for the free ball plant. Still open table here, mate. So uh, have a little think about what you want to do here. Do you want to secure reds? Or, or do you want to go for a three ball plant? Right, we're back. We're back. We're back. What's happened? Zach is 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 reds. Uh, so he's got a couple of balls. He's popped a few balls. Popped a few balls. He's on the comeback. Paul splitting the reds open. Well. So Scott Hardwick is playing Jordan Lark over on table two. That's going to be a tasty little match. We've got Jordan Lark um, from Landod, Scott Hardwick from Brecon. This was a, an a unexpected little tournament happening here today, but a few people caught wind and quite fancied it. So be a good little match up that first to five. Interested to see where that goes. I'm thinking somewhere near Hill Hill. I know Jordan can certainly play the game, and I know that Scott can also. Guys, if you haven't uh, dug yourself into an Easter egg today, right, I suggest you do, because it's the one day of the year you don't feel guilty for eating so much chocolate. Is that right? Is that how it works? Is that what you all do? 
Not sure. I, I, to be honest, I eat chocolate most days. Uh, just, just not huge quantities of. Do love a, a bit of chocolate. So the, the Easter egg I got here is a, a Kit Kat Biscoff Easter egg, and it's uh, from from my father, from my dad. If he's in here, shout out to my dad, bringing me down a bit of food. Thank you very much. Um, and I've got, I believe I've got one more at home, which may even go and tuck into a little bit later on. And Scott Hardwick, bang, straight in, 1-0 up, up and quickly. Oof. Might, uh, might even head out for a, what's chocolate? Uh, chocolate's whatever you want it to be, really. Um, well, it could be lots of things. But... But usually it comes down to being an edible food that you can digest as calories to use as energy, but not everyone eats it. Some people don't like it. Some people prefer dark chocolate. Some people think that dark chocolate's healthier. Some people think that Paul McCambridge is about to go 4 nil up against Taco. And you could be right with that one. Oh, he's overcooked it. Shakes his head. Paco letting him off the hook. No, I can't see Paul missing these. He doesn't want to leave too much distance with the white now, so he wants to get the white ball down the table, and that's good enough. He's left too much angle, he might have to come across twice. Or leave himself on the... near the right rail. Or just punch it in with loads of top left. It all does the same sort of job, really. Hmm. Well, I got some, uh, I got some gold top milk here as well. It's pretty good. Well. I know you all fancy Paul, and I know you all think that he's the best commentator and all that, but Zach Howard, Taco, getting 0% in our poll. Seven votes, not one of you gave him an ounce of hope. No wonder he's 4-0 down, guys. Come on. Cheer for him. Well, you can't now because I've ended the poll, but... Come on, Taco. Save... Uh little bit of face. Let's get one frame on the board. He's dry. Taco straight out of his seat. He's already worked out the clearance. He's already on the black. Don't miss this yellow completely. Oh, he tied. Mm, thought we were going to tie the black up. It's okay. It might close in a few pockets. He needs a kiss. It's okay, I think. See past it. Just keep potting. Oh, it's a great pot. If that yellow goes in the bottom right corner, this, uh, this could be on for... He's playing the plan! Oh! Close. Uh, 
Okay, so this could be curtains for, for Zach. Oh, nearly, nearly rattled it in his own pocket. Bang, plays it with pace. Looking to try and get that red out, but he's not landed too good on this. Just want to move it up the table somewhat. That's a lovely angle, that. Oh, that's a, that'll be two shots there. It was a double hit on the white ball I there, I believe. Wonder if we can get that back. And have a little look. You see one and two. Pushes the white ball. I think he holds his hand up there to say two shots. Zach wasting no time. He wants his frame on the board. No! No! Oh, Zach. Zach. Um, um, look, mate. It's tough out there. It's tough out there. Look, I know. Happened to me yesterday. Yeah. Well, Paul's not going to give him another chance here, is he? Or will he? Oh, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's left it a little bit awkward. Could be an F12 here. Come on, Zach. Come on. So the only the only chance Zach's got here now is if Paul screws the right in, the white into the top left pocket. No, he's not going to do that. But he has missed. Zach's got a chance. Come on, Taco. Think about this. If you cut this into the top left pocket, where's the white ball going? Probably in either one of them middle pockets. Let's just. Let's go back to the snooker background. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah, just sort of... Just leave the white ball up there. That'll do. <laughs> well, it's over the pocket, though. It's over the... It's over the pocket. And Paul is playing into... The Devils. Boo! Boo! No! Ah, <laughs> ah! Oh, oh. Well, look, I called it. I called it at the start, guys. I said you're probably looking at a whitewash. I'm sorry. Here he is. Do your own interview, mate. Is <laughs> <laughs> there people watching that? That was tragic. <laughs> Who's going on here now? Okay, I'll change that. Well, I much prefer to be here. I'm not very good at pool. Where's Paul? So, I want to talk to him about so that. If, if Paul... Paul Yeah, this won't take long, will it? And then I can commentate on. Get Paul in here. He wants to chat to his. <laughs> Hi, everyone. That was, uh,. That was my pool exhibition match with Paul. Uh, as you can see, can't play pool. Rather just sit here and chat shit. Paul got 100% of the votes. Nice. That's nice. Where is he? Where is Paul? I don't know, mate. He's gone. He's ran away. But he's scared of Mike or something. <laughs> Paul, you got a hundred percent vote of the of the of the poll, mate. So. You're gonna go there. 
<laughs> Come on, have a chat about that. Uh, I didn't use it. I used the triangle. All right, be right back in a second. Paul will be joining me for a quick interview. Love you. All right, next up, some actual good pull from Jacob. Uh, so he should put me and Paul to shame and win this match quite comfortably. But we've got Hungry Stig. Is his name Hungry Stig? Is that his name? Hungry Stig. Callum Thomas. Sorry about that game, Zach. It's all right, mate. I don't... Neither of Neither of us at our best. I don't do pool, do I, really? You're a lot better than that. Yeah, I, I didn't perform overly well, did I? Missed a lot of easy shots. Your brother was watching. He's There's proud my brother. Of you. Hello, Mark. How you doing, Mark Holt? Who's Stuart for? Who's Stuart? Stuart ain't here. This is Zach. And we've got Jacob, the they big might, favorite. Well, they might know me as Taco. That's my problem. There's Eva all the way from Malaysia as well. National audience today. Mark, you have to subscribe to get the special emojis. Um, so we, we're now monetized with YouTube. Be a member, I think it's how much is it a month? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine a Pretty month. You get special emojis and stuff. But we will be supporting Callum in this game. Jacob, the big favorite. Callum, an erratic player at times, but sometimes he can be very good. Sometimes he can be atrocious. And he's just snookered himself there. <laughs> he didn't want this draw, really, did he? No, he definitely didn't. We we had an earlier draw that we had to scrap because we had a late entry. We had a, we had a kind of easier draw than Jacob. Everybody doesn't sound the same, Mark. Maybe because you're in Ireland, picking up on the Welsh accents. Happy Easter, everyone. Who's out there? Who's in the chat? This is a, a random tournament that's just happened. Got today? Is it just my family? I think so, yeah. Just all of your family in the chat. There's only six people here. Just my whole honest. family. Happy Easter. Today is a, a very are busy in that religious. Day. Oh, yeah. They're probably eating chocolate with their family. Or at church. Having a good time at church. Christ has risen today. <laughs> he did. Well, yeah, he did. Yeah. In, Nothing in, to laugh about. In the story. <laughs> He's just laughing. In well, the story. Yeah, in the storybook. This is when he came back. Yeah, today, today's the day he came yeah, back. Yeah, very from, famous story. From the dead. And you could have made a resurrection story when you were 4 0 down in that game. <laughs> oh, Jacob, am I going off here? No. No. So I thought you were going to do a, a resurrection from 4 0 down because that was your best frame, actually. It was. Like that yeah. last one. It was. I potted a few yeah. balls in a row, which was nice. If you'd have played leg like at the start, it'd have been a closer game. Yeah, it was pretty poor. Pretty poor pool. Yeah, but. Better get some practice it in. Happens. Really, well, well, that's the, the likes of, of yourself and myself were, were inconsistent. I've seen you play very well sometimes. Very good potter on your day. These guys like Jacob, they're just good all the time. Frustratingly you know, boring. Yeah, boring, and they, they practice a lot. We don't, we don't want to see them pot all the time. We want to see mistakes. That's what makes it funny. Yeah? Exactly. Jake was screaming. I heard, I heard him yeah. screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought you were atheist. Hey, oh, there's a, oh, oh, it just oh. sinks. It just sinks. I don't know what I am. <laughs> nice little clearance here from Boren Jacob. Playing in his socks today. There's Potter. And the, oh, I thought it was going to clip the knuckle for a second. But 1-0 to Jacob as expected. Come on, Callum. Let's make a fight of this. You just can't miss a shot, really. Well, you can. Yeah. When, when Jake is playing well, if you miss a shot, you're you're done. Whereas when we play, there can be several shots missed. <laughs> you're going to have to step it up a little bit in the still, next game, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, that's the weird thing about me sometimes. I played Dan Richards the other night. I played really well. I had a chance to beat him. And the best I've played for a while. The, the match I played before that was atrocious. My, is, it, is there something about when you're playing someone who's a bit worse, you can be dragged down to their level? A little bit sometimes, but also I've got a huge variability in how I play. Uh, sometimes I'm shite and sometimes I'm okay. <laughs> and everything in between. But never good? Ne uh, never really good, no, no. never really good. Like, okay is... you're good. Oh, 
It's two o'clock. Clock, so... I was supposed to be leaving at two o'clock. Go and have lunch. Leave us? I might have to. You're one nil up here and he is reds. A little bit of an ugly table. Red and the yellow tied up at both ends of the table. Looking at uh, some sort of... Fall a one nil down against Brighton already. Yes, Brighton. Did you see United yesterday? I did, yeah. Atrocious. Yeah. They, I mean, they were lucky not to get spanked. Welbeck scored two minutes in. Makes United. Yeah. You Arsenal. need him now, really, didn't you? Yeah, you easily get in our team. Brighton are a good team, though. Mm. Brent Brentford battered United. Yeah, they were all over them. Over 30 shots, on it. Yeah, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Go on, the Cal start. Need Callum to start potting here. Callum's got a funny way of walking around the table. So when he when he plays a shot, so he's crouched down to play a shot, and then he stays in that position as he walks around the table like <laughs> like an old man. Destroying my theory there, but he, 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 he does walk around the table very fast. He doesn't mess around, does Callum? Sometimes I wonder if he should just slow it down a bit. Slow it down a little bit, Callum. Like, where's that black going? Dead erratic at times but he's he's a decent enough player if like tesco and that's open today tesco was open no tesco was closed Tesco was closed, so if you're trying to go to Tesco in the Clandrindod Wells, it is closed ah. currently, but the garage is open. Ah. Where I got that out of date ham and cheese sandwich. After lunch today, everywhere's closed. You've got out of date ham and cheese sandwich is your best bet. Afraid not. Callum's in with a sniff of a chance here. He's, uh... He's just slightly overran that. This is a thin one. He should take the bottom one if he can avoid clattering into that red, and I'm not sure he can. He's got to hit this very hard. This is the. He this... has. He's got a nice double kiss. This isn't the final now. This is the quarter final. Hours left. I'm not no, really sure. Just, why just we... at the start. Just at the start, Mark Oak. I'll be on after this against Mighty Mike Griffiths, who is a, a monster of a player. Have you ever seen the film Saw? <laughs> he, he played the the bad character in that jigsaw. Someone you want to get in his wrong bad side. Ooh, that was a thin one, Cal. Not a bad effort. Unfortunately, I think that red on the top cushion will squeak in behind it. Where he's put the white now is probably the best position he could. Jacob is forced into a difficult shot here. If he misses this, could be frame over. Big shot for Jake. Oh, it's rattled. It's rattled, it was tough. Now Callum has to take this chance out. Now the left center bag is blocked. So he needs to stay down the left side of the table. So just a deep screw. Oh, he needs this to bounce. He needs this to bounce. It's a tricky one. Being an actor next. Yes. Jigsaw from Saw. Oh, he's missed it by a good foot there, that Callum. Was, yeah, that was, uh, you want to take ball. frames off Jacob? You need to pot those. Yeah, have you ever seen the film Saw? The, the guy who plays the uh, the genius bad character. That's what we playing next. Slightly younger version, slightly more buffed up version. White gone. Okay with the red over the left center. Long red into the top right. Favorable angle to get down onto the final red. He's come a bit far. Only got the double. And with the white being on the cushion doesn't make this easy. Into the right center bag. He's missed it by a good bit. And he's left Callum a chance here. Another chance for Callum. A nice easy cut into the right center. No, he's missed again. How many chances do you want, Mr. Thomas? Yep, yeah, next. Next 
round or after this match, this is first to five, you'll see that match mark. I think what Jake can do here, back double is on into the top left, but tough to hold the white for the black if he does that. This would be a steal of a frame. Callum really should have won this frame. He's tried to develop the black. Red is not going to go in. And it's another chance for Callum. Again, it's not a gimme. But he has to take one of these. And if he misses this time, the red's dead o open. the pocket. He's got that one to equalise. Good stuff, Callum. 1-1. One, one. You'll see, Mark. One one Jacob, heavy favourite for this frame, but Callum had three chances. Eventually, took the third. He can do that, Callum. In a race to five, you're always going to favour Jacob, but Callum's got the talent to do damage. You, <laughs> Zach's leaving me on my own. I'm gonna have to go and. I don't, what should these buttons do? <laughs> if it does that, F10 does that, that's all I know. F12 does the replay. replay. F11 plays, plays it. the replay. F10 does that one. I don't know. F9 plays the replay, sorry. But yeah. F9. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's too much to remember, but yeah. we'll go. We'll it's play around and make mistakes. There's only six people. Six million, six million. There's Graham Oak. Good to see you, Graham. Tackles just left, so I'm on my own. So you might see the uh, <laughs> the devil just pop up randomly now and again because I'm pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> hope to get you back down here soon, Graham. Easter Sunday. Hope you had plenty of chocolate. I gave some chocolate friendly chocolate to your dog. Don't think dogs can eat chocolate. But they can have special chocolate. <coughs> good shot there by Jacob. Well, it was a good pot, but lucky little kiss on the white. Left this a little bit ugly. Big double. It's a super double. And again, he's just slightly unlucky with the white. He might be forced into another double here. And he needs to get it because the way these reds are going to touch the cushion here. There is another chance here for Mr. Thomas. He can get this one in, and he has done. Played it with a little bit of confidence. Just come back or come down a touch far. He needed a bit of an angle on this red into the right centre to take him down the table. But if he can screw back, he can play the plant, which would be ideal not sure he can play the plant. He's going to have to go straight for the one over the bag. If he can just hold that white. Oh, that could be nice, actually. That nice little kiss. That's worked out very nicely. Take your time, Callum. Take your time. Now, this should come up. I mean, he's, he's, he didn't even come up off the table there. He's just hugged the table. Get away from that middle bag. It's looking all right for Callum here to go 2-1 up. Just nice, steady, straight black pot. And he's got it. It's 2-1. 2-1 to Callum Thomas. Could there be a shock on here? I'm going to get my coat there, a little bit cold. Anyway, as I say, I'm on my own now because Tyke was left. So you might see the <laughs> devil pop up now and again because I don't know. Don't know these buttons. As well as these lads. 
If you're out there in the chat, say hello because I'm on my own, lonely here on Easter Sunday. Let me know you're out there, having a good day. Enjoying a bit of pool, a bit of a random tournament that just seemed to happen. I guess everyone was bored on Easter Sunday, everyone was closed. And in the blink of an eye here, this is a dish from Jacob. Big break, it's knocked a couple of yellows in. And that's just slightly gone a little far on the wrong side of the yellow, but it's a thin one. Should be even, should be capable of cutting this. Might go into the black. It didn't leave me much. He gave me about a five second, <laughs> five second explanation, Graham. How to get the, so F9, oh, no, that's a, a replay. F8 <laughs> is the devil. F10 is that. The devil comes up there, right? And F12 is a replay. Yeah, okay, I think I've got some of it. Just hard to do and talk at the same time. Fair play to the technical geniuses here, how they do all this. So can Callum see a pot here? There's a thin one into the left center. It's a risky one. All the reds are open. Has he got an easy snooker he can play? He's 2-1 up. You don't want to keep the pressure on Jake. Jake had a dish. He is taking this thin one into the left center. Could be an in off here as well. Not enough. And he's not got a kind white. So Jacob should be able to punish that little thin one in the left center. Bit of screw. Can he hold it for the black into the bottom left? A chance for me. Oh, he's playing up and down the table. He's got an unlucky little kiss off the red. And the white's gone in. The white has gone in. And these are all open reds. Now, a good player like Hexy Boy in the chat would clear these up. Can Callum steal one and go 3 1 up? Now, this might hurt Jacob a little bit. He was always in control of this frame, always favourite to win it. That was a delicate one that's gone in. He's got options here. Which one's he going to take? Going for the nearest red into the bottom right, rattles it in. He's just slightly losing the cue ball a little bit and he's rushing as Callum tends to do. And when Callum rushes, he tends to get a little bit erratic. And that red hasn't traveled enough to carry or block the cut into the bottom right bag. So it's a super thin one by Jake, but doesn't need to think about anything else apart from the cut. Unless he's trying a big double, which he likes. He is going for the big double and it's not gone in. Oh, the black is covered, the top right bag. So it's another chance for Callum. And he has cut it. How's your white? How's your luck? Not great. It's a little bit ugly. And Callum's going to have to pull off something a bit special now. I mean, he has got a little... It's a reach that does go into... How do I do this? Oh, shit. There we go. No, nope. it was a bit slow. Needs that red to block the black. Hasn't done so, so it's going to be two... Frames apiece in this race to five between Jacob and Callum. Should avoid the in-off. He's put a bit lot of... Oh, he's missed! What happened there? What a disappointing black. And he can screw this. Let's have a look at this black. But again, Callum has missed. Let's look at this black. I mean, he's, he's, he's going to win the frame. Put a lot of right-hand side on it, maybe to avoid the in-off. And that's why he missed. Oh shit, what's that doing up there? Get away, devil. Nice little roll in, so it is 2-2 two, two eventually. And Callum had his chances there. Callum could have been 3-1 up. An extra five seconds. He doesn't actually lift off the table when he takes a shot, Graham. He just stays down on the table and then stays hunched over and just drags his body around for his next shot. I don't know why he has to rush so much, but it's the way some people play. Two piece. Jacob not at his best, but you know it will come. And Callum getting chances, not quite taking them, but he probably would have took two two at the start of this race to five. He's a kind.
Nine brick. Nothing drops, but it's an ugly position for the white to be in. And plant missed by Jake. It gives me a chance to take a bite out of my ham and cheese sandwich. From the garage, the only place it's open today. Oh, Callum, what the hell was that? Let's have a little look at that, Callum. A replay, here we go. Because I've just learned how to do the replays. Nice, simple, straight red for Callum. And uh, Jake's missed one as well. I can't keep up with the misses. I can't keep up. Do they see that devil? Maybe that's why they're missing everything. Anyway, as it stands, Callum is in. He is struggling. I mean, it's race to five. I was struggling against Zyke. But he's longer. He's got time to settle in. You wouldn't expect him to lose this match, but that's not a bad pot by Callum. And if this is a very hard, straight red down into the devil's bag. <laughs> oh, crap. There we go. We're going to see the devil. Ah! Unlucky. But he has covered the bag at least, and it was a tricky one. And Jacob again, a little bit loose with that safety. Well, Mark, I would expect Jacob to win. Jacob would be the favourite, but he's not playing at his best. And he's given Callum chances. I need to develop this red on the right side cushion. Let's have a little look up the reel. I mean, it'd be a horrific cut, but is that a big bag? If he gets it right, went for the development. I mean, he's he was on the right angle, needed to hit it a lot harder. But unfortunately with Jacob, even though he is well ahead in terms of the balls potted, those yellows are all potable. So he needs this to go down off the yellow, perhaps. And I fear for him. I fear for Callum. I think Jacob's going to rattle through these. Can't see any problem with any of these balls. Lovely little push through. And now Jacob's the one rattling at pace. But they're all there for him. Wants to take the lead in this match quickly. Can anything go wrong here? Well, I was just going to say, I'm surprised he's not playing the plant. And he didn't. I mean, he's still got this one down into the devil's bag. Rolls it. Rolls it. But we know what happens, Jake. You know that pocket. The hardest pocket. Oh, shit. What's happening there? Crap. How did I get that off? screen smash so a chance again for Callum to take the lead top left 3-2 go Calino how many chances do you want Jacob is giving him the chances and Callum is not taking them will he ever get a better chance to beat Jacob in this race to five he's at about four or five chances on the black lots of top spin It should be simple, although we've said that before for Jacob. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Into the top left for 3-2 ahead. Lovely stuff, Jacob. But Callum, what are you doing? Another missed black from Callum. He could have been 3-2. He could have even been 4-1 up in this. But as it is, he finds himself 3-2 down. As expected, we'd expect Jacob to be ahead. But not as fluent, flowing best. Callum not taking the chances that have been presented to him. The 
3-2. Neither player at their absolute best at the moment. There's the lovely Eva. My favourite. All the way from Malaysia. She loves her pool. Eva, a very good pool player herself. Not to be messed with. If you get to go to Malaysia, try and play Eva at pool. And you will get annihilated. Best female player in Malaysia. Knows her pool streams. And she also knows that Jacob is a decent player, but not at his best today. <coughs> Still doing enough to be 3-2 ahead. Callum has had his chances, but it's only a matter of time before Jacob warms up and he is starting to look hot. Lovely positional play. Probably take the lower of these two yellows into the right centre. Just push through a touch. slightly the wrong angle here so he is going to come off the top end of the table has to avoid the reds does that nicely and the weight looks good beautiful shot it's come a, a little bit further than perfect but shouldn't be a problem and lovely little dish there from Jacob to go 4-2 ahead lovely stuff finally starting to show what he can do was not at his best throughout this match Eva, that is my younger brother, Mark. He's over in Northern Ireland. Eva, Mark, is over in Malaysia at the moment. I'm going to Malaysia in early May. The start of May. Looking forward very much to that. Just to go over there and play Eva at pole. Eva is the best pole player in Malaysia. Never been beat. So I'm going over to get some lessons. Poor Callum finds himself 4-2 down. And really, he had chances. He had chances to be 4-2 up. But you cannot... Well, you can't afford not to take those chances. Yeah, I'll be going to Malaysia, Graham. Early May, very much looking forward to it. In a tough year. Look at this. Look at this from Jake. Oh, delicious little shot there. Let's see if we can have a, a little look at that again. See, he has to. He's very close to the yellow on the replay, so he. I'm trying to avoid the push shot. Lovely little shot. However, just as we say that, he has missed a fairly simple one as the replay was going on. And again, Callum, he's not out of this match yet. Awkward little bridge in between the yellow and the black. And he's overcut that. Another error from the Callum. He has it his chances in this game. Cannot afford to give Jacob too many of these. He controls that nicely, little cannon. He's got this into the bottom right bag. Could be tricky to get on the final yellow. Got to dig into this a bit. Could potentially snooker himself behind a red, but again, he's judged that nicely. This could be game over. He's got the same problem getting onto the black. And it's an awkward bridge as well. He's going to have to dig into this. No, he's going to play it with a bit of topspin, it looks like. He's going to play this with a bit of pace. Nice shot. Oh, it's a lovely cannon. And he's got this into the devil's bag. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. No devil this time. And Mike's already calling me out. I'll be playing Mike now. And just waiting for Jacob to come back in. So, comfortable enough name for Jacob, but he was in the trouble the first few frames. Hi. And Callum didn't take the chances that he was being presented with. Um, hey Julie, how you doing? I'm just about to shut off now. And play. That's Mike. So Mark, remember I said about uh, the soft elements? There he is. 
and I'm going to play him, and th this man doesn't mess about. All right, we're going to... Uh... Emily, come and challenge me anytime. I'm just about to go and play. I'm going to get beaten up now. But I'd, I'd love to play you, Emily, anytime. Hopefully soon. I'm going to have to shut off now, guys, because Mike is an angry man. Doesn't like to be left waiting. So I'm going to go and play him. So you will see me get beaten up on the stream now in a second. Thanks for being there. And I will catch you guys later. I'm going to play now. These guys are about to go off. We're just going to flick over a second to, um, bear with me, uh, just, uh, just this for a moment, uh, and I'll be back with you guys very shortly. See, isn't that lovely? Thank you very much, Graham. Thank you, sir. We've got Mike is playing the Doctor, the Paul McCambridge. And we're just going to get that up onto the Q score now. Um, this is, this is going to be a good little matchup, this. This is going to be a good little game. Either player certainly can come out on top. It's a first of five Julie's there waiting in the semi-final, waiting for the winner of this match here. I'm waiting to play Scott Hardwick once I've relieved myself of duties in here. So this match will not be like the match v Taco. You'll see play pull up. Uh, You'll see play Paul. You'll see Paul play. I think a lot different in this match. He might be a little bit, uh, a little bit more reserved in this match. Mind you, he's going for this plant and going for this plant. You leave the opponent his awkward red if you miss. He didn't miss. He got it. So he left that awkward red into the top left. Although he still covered the top right, he was that ball is no longer safe as such. He snuck past that. So couple of awkward balls down the bottom now. Maybe he's potting himself into a little bit of trouble here. I wouldn't like to say. Bang, look at that Q power. He's down the table. Oh my God, he's on it. That is absolutely perfect. He's just got to get himself... Oh, he's looking at the double on this. 
You're looking at the double on that, on that yellow. I don't know if it goes. It's tight. Said he was playing Jigsaw. Yes, he is. He certainly is. That is Paul. That's Paul at the table now. That's not Jigsaw. <laughs> There's Jigsaw. The guy from the Saw movies. Jigsaw. I think that's going to have to be a new emoji. Uh, yeah, he's going to need a big shovel, Graham. It's uh, digging himself a big, big hole there. And when you're playing a player like Mike, I mean, all you've got to do is just take a little look at that left hand, guys. You know, this man's here for business, yeah? Business. He ain't come here to, to play a little pub game of pool. He's come here to win. This is competition standard pool now. Look at that. Rattles that in. This bloke's not messing around. Or is he now putting himself into a little bit of trouble? I don't know. Neither do you because the visit is not over yet. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's try and get this out to the masses a little more. Oh, he's just missed that. But he's pushed that yellow safe. I mean, if I were Paul now, I might look to roll that yellow up over that middle pocket. Push his red out of the way a little bit and just, just tie it up. Instead, he's just going to double it out. But he might double kiss and go safe again. It hasn't. He's played it. Oh, it has gone safe again. There you go. But so is the white ball. Little tap on the table from Mike. I don't. I think that's just an instinctual thing from Mike. He taps the table and, and says, well done. Oh, look at that. He's found a lovely little carom shot there. And the white ball comes flying across the table into the left centre off a kick. Or a carom. Or whatever you want to call it. So, Mike Griffiths is the manager of the South Powys County team playing the manager of the South Powys University. This is a big ask to get on this yellow and... Ow! He's on it! Oh, no, he's not. He's put the red in. Oh, that couldn't have gone any worse, could it? That couldn't have gone any worse. I'm just, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do that. Nightmare, innit? Nightmare. He's coming off the knuckle. F12 moment. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? He's putting all the red safe. Well, so Mike has two shots. Um, I'm not sure he's going to be able to do a huge amount with these two shots. He's putting, There we go. See, he's, he's covered that now. He's just going to have to play another little snooker. Mark McCambridge, who will win? That is, you know what? You know what, Mark? You know what? That's a bloody good question. That is a bloody good question. Who will win? Paul? Or Jigsaw? I'll tell you what, I'll let you guys vote. You vote for who's going to win this match. Got Mike at the table now, otherwise known as Jigsaw, and that's uh, a nickname given to him by his opponent, Paul McCambridge. Or you have that man himself, Paul McCambridge. You can call me Sockman. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would not be against that nickname, Sockman. If you dig deep enough into my Facebook. Um, Ah, don't worry about that. <laughs> there was a there was a thing going around uh, the internet a little while ago for testicular cancer, and it was uh, it rhymes with sock and in a sock. Five four. If Paul keeps his cool, he certainly. Uh, I mean, he's capable of winning this. And Mike's capable of also. So it could be a bit of a close match. Paul's going to win, Mark. There we go. You've heard it here first. Eva has just sprinkled a little bit of luck dust all over Dr. Paul McCambridge. And this man should go on now to win this match. Come back in 15 seconds to find out.
You see, that's why I said 15 seconds, because it was me in that video. I'm a personal trainer, and, it, and everybody knows that personal trainers can't count, yeah? Or, or we do it on purpose. We say 15 seconds. Oh, my God! What happened there? You just broke the camera. Unbelievable. Did you see that, Mark? Bloody just broke my camera. Paul is my favourite, I think. Paul's your favourite, but is... Is Paul the favourite of this match? That's the question. That is the question. Now, the boys are having a laugh out there. Tell you what, Paul wins. Paul wins. That's not, not, not Paul. Not Paul. Paul. Like the game. Paul always... The, the, the game always wins. Not the player. That's what we like down here. Lol. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty wild with that. I mean, it looked fairly close, but... Uh... Quite hard to see. Right, bear with me, guys. I do need to uh, take a phone call. I tell you what, I can take the phone call while you're here. Hello there, sir. Hello. I'm just currently live on the stream, so uh, please keep the uh, keep the words down to a minimum. The mic is currently on. Um, So this tur this uh, this frame's turning into a little bit of a, a safety battle here. The players are, are just knocking the ball back and forth, like in a game of tennis, just rallying for now until they feel like they're ready to strike. And is Mr. Cambridge ready to strike? Not yet. He's going to con take control of another pocket first. Is Mike going to go for a pot yet? But what is he to do? He's looking at a plant maybe off the yellow, but he doesn't like it. So he's going to take the long one. It looks like he's going for this pot now. He's trying to top the white up the table a little bit. Uh, so the drop of the head tells me that he was going for that pot. So a little bit of disappointment there from Mike. He uh, felt like he, he should have got that pot, but wasn't to be. And K Sarah Sarah, what will be will be. Come on, Paul. Go, go, go. Absolutely. Come on, Paul. We all want to come on, Paul. No, we, we all are cheering. Come on, Paul. Paul is certainly capable of clearing these up. He's overrun that a little bit. Girls always love Paul. Yeah, I mean, it seems that way, Mark. It seems that way. He's a popular man. He, he's famous around here. He's just... He's, he's a... Anywhere in Wales I go at the moment, people are saying to me that uh, that's <laughs> not, I can't do it. The Scottish, no, I'm joking. The Irish, the Northern Irish commentator, they love him. They love him. He's now a, a piece of culture in Wales, in the pool community. It's uh, spreading like wildfire down there. So he's left it slightly awkward for Mike. I, yeah, I think he can just see through that to that red to, to potentially get that pot into the devil's bag. But we'll have a little look at it. And oh, it did just go. And where's that white ball going? Off the red in the pocket. Not quite. He landed on it. That red is slightly awkward. It may go into the bottom right corner. Punches that one in. Gets a little kiss off that, and he's actually landed okay there. It's not too bad. Don't feel like you've got to play the one by the black now. Just pop it off the cushion, leave that red into the same pocket. Maybe a little bit of right-hand side to give yourself a bit of angle. Get back down the table. And he, there's the right-hand side, but he doesn't want to land on that cushion. 
Need to bounce. It's okay. Maybe looking at sort of two cushions now. Land on that bottom cushion-ish. He tried to come all the way down and... Oh my god, he's landed on it. That is either a stroke of pure genius or complete luck. And that, that's an awesome shot afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So it all come from this. Certainly not intentional off them knuckles. Nearly landed in behind that yellow to snooker himself. But fortunately landed on that red into the left center. He punched it in with a little bit of little bit of top spin to take the white ball up and land absolutely perfect on the black. And that's it. Mike, he's 2-0 up. Hell, hell no. It's first to five, but yeah, I mean, we could, look, we could see it. I don't know. I don't, I don't spin balls like crystal balls for a living, but could be, could be. Boom. Boom. What do you think about that then, Mark? Your big brother out there wrestling with the, uh, the jigsaw. Went three nil down. He was tied up in chains he had to figure out the combination to the uh, the padlock, and oh, he found it. And it's three all. I think Mike's just gone for a sleep. I'm not sure. We've got a punch bag up in the uh, the gym at the moment, so maybe he's just gone to let a little bit of a uh, little bit of steam out on that, and then he'd come back and he'd be nice. You know, seen people do it before. But we are waiting. So while we wait, while we wait, while we wait, we will uh, we'll go here. No, no, Brian, you are right, Mark. Of course, he's not. He's not actually Jigsaw. This is this is just all in jest. I'll uh, I'll look for you now, mate. Who broke first? Um, Who won the lag? You won the lag, Mike. I think, I think, yeah. If you won the lag, it's your break. It's mine. Yeah. yeah. Check. Yeah, pull. Yeah, pull broke. Mike, jigsaw, the break. Ball on the table. Balls on the table. What do you mean? Balls on the table. How you doing, Dan? How did you get on yesterday in the uh, your next match? I didn't. I didn't see. I saw the final. I know you didn't get that far, but. Uh... <coughs> Oh, it's a tough crowd down there, isn't it? Top quality players all over the shop. No chances. You miss. Game. So, big break coming up from Mike. Jigsaw Griffiths. Plays it with power. Plays it with Venom. Gets a ball. It just looks a little bit tied up down in that bottom right corner now, so. Mike thinks yellows are the dominant colour. He's looking to go into them ones on the bottom corner now. And that ju does just drop in. It thought about it. A little wobble. Happy Easter, if I haven't said to anyone new in the chat. Happy Easter. I hope you got lots of chocolate. Unreal quality, good experience. Yeah, always, mate. Yeah, it's tough. 5-3. Unlucky, mate. 
I think I lost 5-2 in my second match. Um, yeah, just top quality players, players who are not on the circuits, who could quite quite easily get to a, a high standard, if not professional, some of them. Well, that's the joys of going down there. We, uh, If we want to play in or to an, a level that we want to play at, then that, that is it. That's it doesn't come higher than that. It just doesn't. My first match, I think uh, Stevie Martin must have dished me about five times. First to first to seven, I lost seven one. Probably had about seven visits in that match. How it felt. Nice pot there from Paul. He's trying to hold and. The balls down at the bottom of the table are actually not as bad as they look. Um, covered that pocket there now, so Mike's in a bit of trouble here. Um, Paul can play that plant any time down in that bottom corner, bottom right corner, So, and I think it is a plant. I think you can make contact with them balls pretty much anywhere, and you're, you're, you're going to make that plant. So... I would like to get the white below the black on the left side of the middle middle of the table red and play the that red towards that plant. Um, if you can find a way of or a pace that you can play it to push the yellow out of the way as well, then even better. Yeah, pleasure to see you too, mate. It was only uh, it was only short little drive by, not like America, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, good to see you, buddy. I can. Uh, I've now got a face to my name again. I just, but I, I couldn't. I couldn't for the life of me doing it. I, I kept thinking it was one of my friends from. Uh, just oh my god! Oh, now the yellow goes. Now the yellow goes. War. Mike could be in in favour of this frame now. He's gonna play this little safety. Play a snooker. There it is. Nice little safety there. And secure himself the frame. You can't blame him at this point. Playing little shots like this. On cushion. Wants to avoid that knuckle. Yeah, it's it's classic, that knuckle. It's classic. Pot in the red. Um not really guaranteeing anything with that yellow. And he's potted that yellow and that. And all of a sudden. All of a sudden, and this is what I mentioned before, when you play shots with so much pace and you're knocking balls around the table, you just never know where they're going. And now you're bridging, you're playing a full length of the table shot, and all of a sudden, oh my word, he's gotten away with it again. He's Chinese snookered him, and he snookered him on the one over the bottom left. Wow. Well. Play the table, not the person. Whatever shot you are left, tough cookies, pal. You're playing it, so uh, you better get on with it, Mush. Tough bridge now. Any sort of contact on the uh, on the bottom red, I feel, is the is the shot to play. But I think Paul's going to want to go for the right red. He is. He's sort of aiming at that one, but <sighs> this isn't easy, guys. This is not easy. Paul doesn't like this bridge. Looks like he's aiming between the two reds now. He's going to miss that completely. This is not easy. Yeah. Look like it. Tough that when you're, when you're bridging. You can't really aim. You don't know where you're, where you're playing the shot. And that's just another example of uh, just a little bit of run for, for Mike there. I, I feel that the in this match, the run has certainly gone Mike's way. And that is just the way it goes. But with two shots, I feel like you want to take the uh, the balls away from the top of the table first. Wants the white almost snug on this top cushion now. Give himself an angle. Okay. Gonna have a screw it straight back. You've got to avoid that middle right pocket though. Whoa! You might, you're making me sing, mate. You're making me sing. Wow, big long one now into the devil pocket. He's not going to go for it. Nope. 
He's going this way. I think Mike's in self-destruct mode here. Paul put the hex on him. Paul's going to put the hex on him. Ooh! 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 If anyone can tell me that reference, then uh, I'll give you a quid. Got to get this white ball back, and he gets it back! What a shot! What a shot! Lovely cue in there. He's just going to avoid the big dirty devil himself. Can Paul avoid himself? <laughs> ah, yeah, he can. I'm only joking. Wow. Is this 4-3 to Paul? He was... He was 3-0 down, guys. Give this man... Give this man a standing ovation. Oh, it's on now, guys. It's on. It's not just on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Paul McCambridge was 3-0 down, currently leading this match now 4-3. Nice, mate. Awesome comeback so far. Mike's no easy player to take four frames off, let off in a row. Totally agree with that. Yes, difficult man to play. And, uh, yeah, he's, won. he's on the hill. He's on the hill. Flicks that one off the cushion. It's a nice little shot, that. But that yellow by the black, I don't think, goes. So... Got to take the one into the top right now. And then leave himself that one into the right centre. Just got to stun the white ball. Nothing nothing crazy. You just roll this one in. You could even take the opposite side now and try and run into the one by the black. You push that yellow. If you if you make contact with that yellow, you leave yourself on the one in the uh, in the left center. I think he tried to play it. No, maybe he didn't. He's left himself. That's he's tight into that middle bag. I mean, you maybe got half a ball to to aim at there. Not easy. Certainly not easy. he playing yeah, he, I think he's just playing the pot yeah yeah it's too too thick caught the bottom jaw or even bottom cushion and uh, giving Paul a little bit of a chance I am just going to have to leave you guys I'm going to run to the little boys room for a moment but uh, I'm sure you can uh, you can do this on your own for a moment check this out
rolling it in dead weight with exactly the same shot there. In terms of angle. Ah, you're right. Yeah, turn the music off. You're right. I was uh I was vibing then, Bri. I was could you not hear me rapping? I was rapping. I was snicker rapping. I was brap rapping. All that sort of stuff. Oh, he's a it did go. He overcooked it. Wow. Well, 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 the black ball's tied up. I don't know where this frame is going, guys. I don't I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you where this frame's going. Is it going to hell, hell? Guys, get the hill emojis in the chat. Get them in. Get them in. We want to see it. We want to see it. I know you want to see it. And he's gone to play a little safety and he's not quite got it. There you go. There's my emoji. Get yours in the chat, guys. Are we going? Are we going to hell, hell? Or green poo, green poo, as uh, someone said the other day. Or oh, Mike's left himself a shot here. I'm not so convinced. So convinced this goes in to that left centre without fouling. Now, depending on what ball travels <laughs> furthest here, will will certainly uh, certainly tell us that. Yeah, I don't think that was a foul. I think that was okay. Yeah. It was okay. Yeah, you called it. But it might not happen. If Paul knocks in this long one. So he's going to play this one for purposes of a safe white ball should he miss. Oh, he's rattled it in. Oh, this man. Oh, this man. He's just got to leave himself that last red. He's just got to not snooker himself. He's good. He's good. Roll it in the middle. You get the pot. And that's game. Last game. Wow. Take it down. He doesn't want to see it. Woo! Wow. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So next up, we've got Scott Hardwick versus myself. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys uh, shortly. Semi-finals time now. Hopefully Jake will put the, the names up. I don't know how to do it. Ask him if he can do that one second. Um, and I believe I'm playing Julie in the other semi. So let me just get Jake in there. Who's in the chair? There's Brian Hammond.
Okay, we got the names up. So first semi-final is Jacob Bayless against Scott Hardwick. I haven't seen much of Scott, but he's been playing well on the other tables. Good to see him on the stream. Race to five. And then the other semi-final will be myself. Somehow I got through against Mike. I've never beaten Mike. So I was happy with that one. Uh, Mike not at his best, but he was good. Good to uh, get a win over Mike. And I'll be playing his partner, Julie. Uh, a county female player. Good to see the ladies. Mark, you're always asking about seeing the ladies. You'll see me play one in the other semi-final. So the winner of this will play the winner of me and Julie in the final. So this should be a good game. From what I've seen of Scott, he's a decent player. Uh, but Jacob will be the favourite to win this. You still there, Brian? We need to get a game sometime. A look at Scott here, what he's about. Nice open reds, one tricky, one tied up in the pack. Nice solid shot. Cue ball control looks good. Never would lie, Mark. Never would lie. A look. Dan Richard is in there. Good to see you, Dan, if you're still about. Who is in there? There's Ishmael. Good to see you, Ishmael. Hope you're well. This is just a... I think everyone was bored today, so a lot of people just ended up down here. Everywhere was closed, so had a spontaneous tournament, which is going well for me. I've made the semis. I'll be playing Julie in the semi. This is the first semi-final. With Scott. Scott Hardwick, new player down here. And he's been playing well. But this is his first big, big test against Jacob. See how he gets on. That's just slightly veered off. A little touch to the right there. Maybe caught a little chalk mark. Jacob, with these yellows, has got a lot of work to do. <coughs> Thanks, Black Bill. Yep. Uh, I've I've never beaten Mike before actually in a in a proper race to five or a proper match. So when I was three nil up, three nil down, I thought that was all over. Just get a frame on the board. But as I started getting back into it, he started getting a little bit tense, and um, don't think that helped him so much. And I was able to scrape through his bricks. I think he only had one where he potted one off his bricks, so he had split them up nicely for me and let me in. And I changed my break halfway through. I was doing a cut break, which the white was just flying off the table. So just went back to basics and it seemed to work. It seemed to work well for me. So thank you, Black Belt. Hope you're well. I haven't seen you in a while. But I'm looking forward to having a good look at Scott here. This is a, a bit of an ugly setup with the yellow. So Scott's in prime position. Got this red into the top left, but he's half tempted to leave it there. That's his kind of insurance. How brave is he? He's still got to develop the black, so yeah, he is going to take it now. And that's not a bad little kiss on the red. If it doesn't go tight on the cushion, which it has done. That had just stayed another inch or two up. He could have cut that in nice and easily and probably developed the black a bit as well. It's a tricky position now to leave something easy on this red in a way you can try and develop the black. Oh, he's played that nicely. That was awkward bridging. It's a good pot. Scott can play a bit. No doubt about that. But this is on the cushion. He's going to have to force this through with pace. 
Maybe the black actually goes into the left center of just having a look at that. It might do. That's definitely what he's left. If this goes into the left center, I think it does. Could be the first frame to Scott here. It's just going to catch the top knuckle. I think the pot was there. <coughs> the pot was there, but... Didn't quite make it. Now Jacob with his first real chance in this frame. Getting that yellow out of the middle of the cluster has opened all four yellows up. And if this cuts underneath the black, this is a chance for Jake. How's your luck on this kiss? Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. They're all a little bit tight together, so it's all about cue ball control cannons. And Jake does that nicely. Ronnie O'Sullivan-esque, the master of these little screw shots and cannons. Oh, he just wanted a thicker contact on that, but he's, he's still fine. He can go in behind this last yellow and steal this frame. He needs this to bounce a bit. It's okay. Trickier pot than probably wanted would have wanted, but Angle takes him for a nice easy black. All he needs to focus on the pot and don't go in off. That's why he screwed it a little bit. And that's a kind little kiss on the black. Just make sure he doesn't do a push. And this will be the first frame to Mr. Bayless. 1-0. A steal of a frame, but a nice clearance. That was not straightforward. The yellows all clustered up together. One good pot opened them all up, but still had to control the cue ball nicely with every shot, which he did. The good stuff by Jacob. But Scott showing what he's all about and why he's in the semi-final here. Nil to Jake, race to five on this Easter Sunday. Hope you're all having a good Easter Sunday. I'm on my own here, so you might see a little <laughs> devil or stuff pop up now and again. Because I don't. Oh, what the hell's that? Get off! Get off! I don't know what that is. Oh, it's, it goes off. So, what is the? What are these buttons? Okay, so that does that. That's that angle, and that's the devil. Okay, I think I've got. I think I've got F12. We all know F12 is the replay. Let me know F12s if you want to see a replay in the chat and say hello to me because I'm on my own Easter Sunday on my own. Who's in there? There's Grimo still in there. Thanks, Grim. That was a, a tense match in the end. Gr uh, <laughs> Mike was getting a little bit hit up. 3-0 um, down. I was happy with that. Come back. I don't think I've ever beaten Mike in a, in a match before. A proper match anyway, so that was a, a nice win. But his brakes weren't working for him. Uh, I don't know how to work the stream, Mark. No, I just commentate. There's normally normally Stuart or Zach with me, and they do all the, the technical stuff. I just talk. I need to figure it out. And they haven't given me any instruction list, so I'm just sort of pushing buttons here. Jacob electing to take the yellows. And they all look potable. And that kiss has just popped a red safe as well. This yellow goes into the left center. So a couple of good pots. Is he tempted by the plant or will he take top right? I think top right is probably the shot. Wouldn't want to risk the plant. I mean, it's very plantable. You don't know where that first ball is going to go. Just pushes that through, but he didn't. Didn't really commit to it, so the, the yellow's not come up as much as he would like. And the angle of this takes him down towards that bottom cushion, so he's forced into the plant now. Didn't want this shot. And he's way off. He is way off of that plant. He has blocked one of Scott's reds a lot. Makes his yellow also a bit tricky, so a little error from Jacob. Maybe the cut wasn't going to give him any positional play, but the shot before that he just didn't commit to it enough. Just pushed through the queue. But Scott back at the table will be happy just to get a shot. That was a good dish opportunity for Jake. Yeah, I agree, Ishmael. He, he's better than that. That happens. That happens. Semi-final stage now, so it is getting tense. There is money on this tournament. 
And uh, I don't know if he's if he's played Scott before. We've not seen Scott down here, so sometimes you play a new player, you don't quite know what to expect. He certainly showed in the first frame he can pot a ball, Scott. Oh, he tried to get around to pot or knock that red out. Didn't quite work. Good effort. He's got a tricky shot coming up. I mean, the, the cut's very doable, but how does he get on to any of these reds? A lot of right-hand side to hold the white on the right side of the table. Or maybe come across up and down the table a bit. It's tough to get on a red from here. Oh, I didn't even... I thought he was playing the cut. Took the one into the top right first. Missed the shot, but it's tied up his red. The yellow may still go into the top right if the white's on that top left-hand side of the table. Got a little bit ugly, this frame. Jake could have had this some time ago. He's got work to do. Not easy to get on any of his yellows after this. He's playing it with a lot of right-hand side here. Look at the where the cue ball's striking when you play it with so much side. It can really make the pot difficult. I have no idea how to play it with side. Maybe you can let me know, Graham, but play it with side. It sort of puts the cue ball off to one side or the other. I can't quite work it out. But what he has done is let Scott back at the table. Scott not taking the red into the right centre. I thought it was there. Just wants to get that red out. He's not happy with that. He's put his red sort of safe. And he's left Jake an easy starter. The yellow looks like it can clip under... The black into the left center. But the bottom yellow on the table does it. Maybe go into the bottom right. So if I had the angle from the other side, I might be able to tell. Definitely won't go into the devil's bag. Can't see enough of the face there. Don't, don't think he needs to develop this one beside the black. He does need to develop this one, and he's got the hit. And the yellow will go into the middle left, so as long as he can control the cue ball. And use the black to do that. Should be okay, and he's got the top half of the table. And I think it's thin enough that he should avoid that red near the center of the bottom cushion, so it looks pretty straightforward. Touch your right hand side to get it up the table. He has hit the red, but is he going to go in behind that red? He's okay. Absolutely fine. He's getting down there quickly, almost hitting it while the white was still moving. Should be between all the Jake here. And it is. Where's the white going? He's safe. And there it is. 2-0 to Jake. Should have been finished a bit earlier than that, but he's in control of this game at the moment. So Scott Hardwick, first time we've seen him in a tournament down here on Easter Sunday. Winner today gets about 50, 60 quid plus an Easter egg. Easter egg for the winner. Nice big chocolate egg. Delicious. Now we've seen these race to fives. We saw in the last quarter final, 3-0 up. And still be a comeback. That's dry. Look where all those reds have gone. Very ugly. Yellow will plant into the bottom left. The devil's bag. So he wants yellows for sure. Put them in prime position. In this frame, he's controlled the white nicely. And Scott, big favourite now for this frame. Yes, Mal, when, when Jake is playing well and flowing, he's a fast player. And I think, you know, some, some players need to... Need to cool down a little bit, but Jake, I think, plays better when he's faster. There's Joe Harles. Good to see you, the Joe Sturt. Um, so this is a semi. So this is the first of five, and then I'll be in the other semi against Julie Jones-Morgan. Julie is our female county player. I'll be playing her in the semi, uh, the other semi, and then it'll be the final after that. We weren't planning to do a stream today, but quite a few people just turned up to play a bit of pool, so we thought we'd organise a tournament. Easter Sunday, everything's closed here, so I think everyone's just a bit bored. 
uses the black nicely to hold the yellow, but the black has gone into an ugly position. And that gives Jake a little bit of hope in this frame because the reds were very ugly. But with the black tied up now, you'd have to fancy... Jake to maybe get another shot at the table unless Scott has got some sort of development shot. I don't think he's got an angle off any of these yellows to play at now. He's just having a look at where he wants to leave the white. He can try and develop that black, so it looks like he's just going to push this through a touch just into the second half or the bottom half of the table. That looks pretty good angle for me just for a deep screw back in towards that red and black. Has he got the angle? Ah, oh, it's a good shot, and he's unlucky where the red's gone there. That red was just going away from the pocket for a second, but it's bounced back off that top cushion, and he cannot pot the black now. Red's still ugly. I mean, there's going to be a lot of work for Jake to do when he gets back at the table, but whenever you've going to get one ball... He's done well to get the black out into a fairly open position, but whenever you've only got one ball, it's so easy to snooker someone on that one ball. And I think Jacob will be thinking about that straight away. He has done. He's got one of his reds out and snookered. That is the problem against these good players. When you've got a chance, you have to take it or they will punish you. Jake now has got all these reds in the open. Sorry, just got a text message there. I missed that shot. Looks like Scott had a shot in the black that he missed. My apologies. But Jake back at the table. Still got one ugly red to deal with. Has he got an angle here to nip into it? Decides not to. Wants to cover the bag at least. Needs to cover the bag. Needs to cover the bag. The weight looks just enough. Just enough. Risky shot there by Jacob. Maybe didn't quite get the connection he wanted, but he has covered that bag. And that was his number one goal. Can Scott just sneak the black in behind that red? It's tricky. And it's dangerous as well. It's got a potential long up and down double, but again, very low likelihood that that will go in. What other option has he got here? What would you guys play? Because the way the reds are, Scott doesn't pot this black, or at least get it in behind that red. You'd have to fancy Jacob to steal this one. He knows this is a key, key shot. He's in trouble here, Scott. Don't think he can easily get in behind that red. I think it's got to be the shot, though, and maybe hope that he blocks the red from the pot, but it could be a big pocket there, Ishmael. Yeah, you've both picked the treble out. He's tried to hit him behind it and a little bit of hip and hope, leaving the white on the bottom cushion. I mean, not a bad thought process, but Jake can definitely still cut the red back. Again, maybe a little bit of hope for 
for Scott. The red's gone a little bit close to the black. Blocked into the Devil's Bag, the bottom left, but still goes into the bottom right here. And Jake's played for that immediately. Why is it a chance to? A little bit close to the cushion, so I might have to push through this and leave the slightly longer red. Although it does cut into the left centre as well. Takes a longer red, might be easier position on the black, but neither of them should be a massive problem to Jake. But he's a little bit in between here. So I think he's playing the cut, playing it off the top cushion to come down. Got to get the weight right. Where's that going? Where's that going? It's going nicely. Judge that weight well. And into the, <laughs> oops, there we go. Into the devil's bag. No problemo. Or Mr. Bayless. 3-0 up in this semi-final. But we have seen this before. The last match we saw on the stream, I was 3-0 down, and I came back. So it is possible. The possible is possible. We've seen that. What did you say, Graham? Up, down, triple, bottom, left, in. Up, down, triple, bottom, left, are in off red in middle. Up, down, flying saucer, double DDT UFO off the top rope. <coughs> You speak a different language to me, Graham. Well, maybe Scott was watching, well, I know he was watching that last match. So race to five, three nil down. It's not ideal, but we've seen it already today. That's two reds have dropped. No easy red on here for Scotty. The Hardwick. Unless that red will go into the right centre, but what do you take here? Do you go for the tricky red? Or do you take yellows? Now that red, if it goes into the right centre... Yeah, Ishmael saying yellows, and I think he might be might be right. He does take the red into the right centre. I'm not sure he's got an easy shot after that, so he is, and he's taken the plant as well. The cut plant. And he's not got it. That is absolutely the worst outcome. Still an open table. Of all the choices, the last thing he wanted was to not pot anything. So he's give Jacob the choice now. And the way the yellows are set up, blocking those two reds into the bottom right. Surely Jake is going to take the yellows. I could think though. Surely it's a yellow choice and it is. Or Jacob. 3-0 up. And the big favourite now to go four up. That's gone a little bit weird. And try working out that four-way plant. It's kind of just not got the white where he wanted it there. That's a super thin and a delicious little cut. And the white's in a better position now where he can just take the easy plant with the two balls. Was that to hang over the pocket? A little awkward position though, the yellow's left in there over the pocket, so he's got to cut this and could be going into the yellow with the white ball. Once I ideally get above it, he's able to judge that nicely and that looks bread and butter from here for Jake. It's two little push throughs to go 4 nil up. Yeah, it was a lovely cut, good recovery on the cut for Jake. And a nice little... Check side top spin there to leave the simple black into the devil's bag. And there we go. Just got it in time. Bang. 4-0 to Jacob. Well, maybe I'm going to be back on quicker than I thought. Jacob is not wasting any time here against Scott Hardwick. Favourite for the tournament now with players left in this. We would have been expecting a Jacob Mike Griffiths final, but Mike was shocked. 3 0 up against me, and Paul came back. Business. So 
Kanjiak finish us off with a dominant performance, or will we see the start of a magical comeback from Scott? He's gone in off on that brick. Scott has shown glimpses, but Jacob <coughs> has been a little bit more clinical when he's had his chances. Whenever Scott missed on his opening shot last time, didn't take the yellows. He got punished for that. Does not want to make the same mistake again. That should be okay. He's got two shots. Still got a red or a yellow to elect. Yellow tied up with a black. Yellow in between those two reds near the left center pocket. Bit of a weird position as well. But not straightforward either way. Looks like he's taking the reds. Gonna push this one through. All the reds go somewhere. The red that's the lowest on the table does go into the bottom right if you can get the right position on that. So probably the right selection here to take the reds. What can you do with it? Can't afford any more mistakes now. Yeah, Jake's family expecting him home for dinner. Well, he's still got a match after this. And me and Julie will be playing after this in the other semi. And I'm not the quickest of players. Mark says to let the girl win. Why, sh why should I do that, Mark? Why... Why would I let a girl win? She's a better player than me anyway. She's a county player. But if you're in, if you claim to be for equal rights, then surely equal rights is equal level of competitiveness against anyone. And Julie's a top player, absolutely. Won't be letting her win uh, at my best, but still probably lose. Oh, he's just not come through quite enough there, Jake. But he's okay, because I'll cut this one into the, the devil's bag. There it goes. I mean, let's just stay here for the plant. And that just about drops. Yellow goes into the left center. Let's play with a bit of pace to screw back. That's a good shot, harder than it looks. These middle pockets at pace are tricky. I don't think that is being a gentleman, Mark. I think that's, if anything, being slightly sexist. But there's a very easy, quick 5-0 win at the start. I thought Scott was going to make this a, a good match, but 5-0, very, very quickly done. So I'm back on quickly. I'm going to have to say goodbye after my brief spell. That was fast. I will right, we'll see you guys soon. I better get out there and play Julie. Get up! Get up, um, man! You didn't you didn't waste any time there. No, no, I wanted you on. No, no, no. Brian. Brian, eh? Brian, eh? Okay, so Julie is there, just warming up. I, uh, I'm looking forward to this match, guys. Like, really, really. I, I this is this is gonna be a great match. Like, I know that I know that look at look at the way that Julie plays. Like, this woman plays for her country now. Like this woman is good at pool. Very good at pool. Um, this is this is going to be a good match. I'm 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 really looking forward to this. While we uh, wait a moment, we will just uh, jump over to. I hope you guys don't mind, but a little ad. This is the uh, the building where the uh, the pool is being played, and amongst all the other things that we have going on down here. Hi, sock man. I'm back, but I'm gone.
Okay, so a uh, little bit of confusion. It's, uh, it's county level that Julie plays at, but a very good player, all in all. Um, yeah, an interesting matchup we've got here. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this, and I, I will be playing the, the winner of this, so it's in my best interest to observe and uh, pick out flaws and see if I can, I can use that to my advantage in, uh, in the next match, in the final, that is, in the final. So uh, we'll see. So, Julie, up to break. Maybe a slight miss hit on the break, but the balls are open. It's not a foul break, and yeah, let's get some pull going, then, guys. Let's get let's yeah. The sword is on, mate. Don't you worry about that. I was halfway through my match, and I said to the bloke, "Bear with me a minute, mate. I've just got to go and uh, pop the sword on." She's on. Don't you worry about that. What if Paul wins? Who? Do yeah, Mark. I'm. I'm starting to wonder that. I'm. Look, I've been. I've been. I've been thinking that as I was nearing the end of my match. I don't know. I don't know. Can you come down? You pop down for an hour, mate. Hit commentary. I don't know who's gonna come in. I don't know. Everyone's left. Bosh. Yeah, Bosh. She's on, boy. So, Paul is on a little clearance here. And it, yeah, he's snooking himself on that yellow now, so no more. That's a full ball. Total snook up. Snook up. Total snook up. Can't, dude. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, Mark. Don't worry about it, mate. But thank you. Thank you. We'll find somebody. Maybe Stuart might float down from the clouds and just end up on the seat next to me. Who knows? Who knows? Or we have like maybe we could maybe we could just lay like the heartbeat over the top of it. It's the final, and it's. Uh, Okay, my bad there. A little bit of technical error. This is what happens when Taco's not ESC. The Q score wasn't on the screen, but it is now. Julie's got ball in hand. She's got two shots. Looking to get that ball off the table straight away. And as you can see, an absolute machine of a potter, Julie. She's a great player, I can assure you. She's played down here a couple of times. I think she's got to quarterfinals, semifinals. I, uh, if I can cast my memory, oh, unlucky, unlucky. If I can cast my memory far back enough, I'm sure I remember playing Julie in the Landod League many, many years ago. Probably talking over 10 years. As I said, can't be certain, but uh, I think. Okay, slight adjustment there, but you probably haven't even noticed, so I'm just going to uh, carry on like nothing's happened. Pulls on yellows, covering the bag there. Is it going to drop? Is it going to drop? It's the devil's bag. It's not. It's not. <laughs> but he's well and truly got that bottom left pocket covered. As the Irish says, come on, ya girl, ye. Yeah. Now that's it. That's it. Come on, you girdy. I, I, I think I was more of a Scottish accent. I did the not very, uh, not very good at the Irish one. There it is. There's the Q score. We've got it. We've got it. Okay, okay. Game on. Game on. Halfway through the frame. Game on. Game on. So is Mr. McCambridge going to finish off this 
Visit. He's going to knock the black off with this shot. And if he gets the full ball, it's... it's Oh, he got it too full. Oh, it goes in the middle. I don't think he wanted that two and one. It might not go in the middle, guys. He might not be on this black. He may not be on this black. I couldn't tell you. So... I've got ADHD distracted there, guys. Help me out. What happened? Is it one shot? Is it two shots? I don't know. Did Paul get picked up by an alien aircraft and floated away? I don't know. I don't know. You need to let me know. I think it was just one shot the way Julie's playing. Lovely pop, but positioning. Is that red just rolled onto it? She may not be on the one at the top. It's super unlucky if she's not, but... Yeah, it looks like she's on it. Yeah, she is. I is. What did I tell you? I really admire the way Judy plays Paul. She's accurate, and and like you can you can see when a when a, a person plays Paul with the pace they play shots at for I think the uh, the quality of a Paul player. And again, she just she's played that with a decent weight. I think the black does just pass, and and she wasn't quite on her next red, but unlucky there. Unlucky could be. One zilch. And it is. It's super unlucky. But I can tell you what, guys. Just because Paul has taken the lead, this match is by no means going to run away with either player. This is going to be a close one. Okay, McCambridge in for the break. Are we... Uh, we're, not, we're not live. We're not live. We're not live. We're trying to be live. We're trying to be live. There, we're live. We're live. See... I'm just not that technically gifted. I just don't do it that well. Devil pocket, unlucky Julie. Yeah, I agree. Tough pocket down there. I mean, it was a, a, a super long shot. Almost full length of the table down the cushion. Not easy to judge them, but... So looking back to the to the earlier scores, when uh, Julie won her first match 5-0... And she's playing her second match now. So she's currently trailing in this in this match. She's more than capable of uh, of coming back. Scott Hardwick beat Jordan Lark 5-0. I didn't see that earlier. That's a good win. Really good win against Jordan. Jordan's a good player. That is son of Julie. Jordan Lark. He's a top bowls player i think he lost he said he lost in the final of a, a, a bowls competition recently uh plus a couple of trials for wales and just narrowly missed out he's getting back into the game after a long time off a little bit like excuse me a little bit like what uh what i'm doing in pool i've had a long time off i played it when i was younger and now i'm i'm just sort of getting back into it and while doing that apparently running a full-time stream that's the way it goes, isn't it? We enjoy this, don't we, guys? It's Easter. Come on, share the love. Share the chocolate. Get the... Guys, I want some Easter emojis in the chat. Let's get some in there. Let's have a little look at them. You have to excuse me. That is uh, an in-off. That's an in-off. That's a foul. Have a little watch of that. So he screwed it off the cushion and found himself in the middle bag and he, he went down like a like a like an ante to them with his hand. Fish out the white ball. Maybe that's what Paul's left arm is. Is he he just puts it in into orifices and, and sort of sucks things out. I don't know. I don't know. Or he's just got a human hand and he just uses it like a normal human being. I who knows? Who knows? Swing and a miss. The reds are tied up. Like, I don't see this frame over in, in a visit yet for, for either player. They've both got difficult balls and manoeuvring. <coughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the egg, Mark. Yeah, manoeuvring around this table is uh, not an easy task. Quite an ugly table out there. 
Any more Easter emojis in this chat for us, guys? The little Bridger. Slight miscue, I think. Not easy shots then, bridging over. Creating stability in the wrist, in the fingers. Them little joints and muscles in the hand working hard to try and stabilise the cue as you're moving the back arm and the cue's moving around and you've got to try and focus on it. He's doing it now, look. How'd you do it? It's just difficult. You'll see. It's just difficult. Yeah, lovely little chick. Lovely little chick egg there. Love it. Love it. Let's see what I can find. I've got one. I've got an Easter one. Ready? Are you ready for my Easter one? There's my Easter one. There it is. <laughs> okay. So bit of work to do from Julie here. She's on yellows. I mean, I I would be half inclined to play the one down the rail now. And Yeah, it's a well-controlled shot. Very nice shot there from Julie. Bridging in between all them balls and, and, and trying to leave a safe white. Not an easy task. Paul just replying with a, a safety. There seems to be a lot of bridges going on in this frame, doesn't there? Just me? Practicing against Paul Robinson yesterday, and I there were one clearance that I took out, and it and it felt like every shot that I played was I was just bridging. So a slower, slower frame this one. The balls are tied up for both parties here. Ball player, he's, he's loving them plants down there. And he in the devil bag? What's he up to with them plants down there? What's he up to in that devil's bag altogether? This man, that's his pocket. He knows what he's doing. He owns that pocket. Doesn't own that one. Have a little look at this plant again, guys. Great plant, this. Tough shot, this. Tough shot. Lovely, lovely pot, that. Lovely pot. And again, Judy's got bridge. Unless she wants to play the, the yellow maybe below that red. Just to the left of the uh, where the triangle would be. Looks like it might go into the bottom right. Thing is, from here, like the only thing really tying this frame up is the black. And if you leave that bottom red, then ooh, now the black's open and the reds are out. And that, ooh, yeah, I think he spun a deal with the devil, Graham. I think you're right, mate. He spun a deal with the devil years ago. Yeah, lovely shot. Great, great shot that. You had to play that plant in a way that you, you leave yourself top side of that red. So then you can get yourself down the table but actually he didn't want to get down the table he'd much prefer playing down into his own pocket he's got no fear playing down in there la, 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 la. <laughs> well another devil -o for Paulo safe white safe white safe white she's got the snooker Oh, look at this. Full length of the table swaz coming up here, guys. Full length of the table swaz. Oh, lovely shot. Lovely shot. Don't think we quite got the uh, the full effect of that shot being in the view that we were in, but there we have it. And Paul takes himself two frames ahead now. Bit of swaz on this. Wang that round the yellow. Off two cushions, two knuckles, and back up perfectly for the black ball. Swerve it. Oh, we absolutely did. Yep. Fantastic little clearance there from Paul. Unlucky there from Julie, but Paul takes himself another frame ahead. And I called this to be a lot closer, but that's when the match is over. 
It's not over yet. It's only two. Julie wins this. It's 2-1. 2-1 doesn't sound so bad. 3-0 does. Julie could win the next one. Two apiece. All of a sudden, we're heading to hell, hell. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so big split there. Paul still hasn't put his score on there. It is. He's got it. He read my mind. Paul's got telekinesis. <laughs> no, you're not, Graham. It's uh, a discussion we had the other day. It's uh, it's pretty normal. About 30 second delay on the comments. But you're right, there is a short delay. I was uh, I was at home commenting the other day, and uh, when I wrote a comment, it was roughly 30 seconds before the, uh, the person receives it. That person being me in this end today. Thin one into the middle now. Not easy. Like that red to bounce. That's not too bad. You sort of cover the yellow in a way. To uh, maybe the double. Oh, so might just might have just had a little bit of news. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna say anything yet because it might not go ahead, but. There's potentially a massive, massive game happening down here at the MRC. Uh, I'm going to say who it is yet. I'll get a little confirmation first, but there's talks. There's talks. The big boys are talking. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Graham. It is, it is slightly behind, mate. So Julie just removing that red from the pack, I think, is a, a good option for her. And just try and move the reds around the table into potable positions. The the yellow below the black looks looks slightly tied up. There's many options to get into it. Could have played that with more pace then and gone into it then. As you can see, natural angle takes it towards it. The harder you play that, the wider it goes. Oh, unlucky. So, nothing obvious and easy for Julie here to clear up. Oh, it drops. Oh God! I shouldn't have mentioned the. Uh, I shouldn't have mentioned the, the big game tomorrow. My uh, my inbox is going berserk, absolutely berserk. Okay, okay, right. Closing that down, muting that because we got a match on our hands here, guys. This is what we come here to see. Let's. Uh, uh, how, do, how do I turn this down? Right, here we go, here we go. Right, turn down, there we go. Boom. Okay, okay. Right, we're back. We're back in. Once at the drop, it's not gonna. Not gonna. Bit of a chance. Little bit of a chance. Oh, it's just rattled the jaws, but, I mean, she's just got to hope now that Paul doesn't, doesn't miss, doesn't, doesn't clear up, sorry. See, I'm going to have to close these, uh, oh, no. right, screens are gone down, we're no longer looking at comments, I'm being badgered, I'm being badgered, it's okay, we'll get back to them, we'll get back to them, there's a match at hand, so... There's your first ball. You roll this in. You sh you you do you 
bottom side of this yellow. So roll this in, just the pot and angle, and you should naturally just leave yourself a little bit of pace on it, but leave yourself on that last yellow, like so. Played it well. Actually played it, played it very well. I think you screw this back now, leave the black in the same bag. Like so, and that could be, that could be 3-0. Yes, yes it is. Well, it's hard luck there. And uh, although Paul went 3-0 down his first match, he's, uh, feels like he's switching on a bit here and he's, uh, he's coming back. He ain't lost in seven frames. Eight frames. This man's not lost in eight frames, guys. Big break. Balls haven't split the best. A swing and a miss there. Maybe a little bit of frustration coming out for, for Julie. You can't blame her. I mean, when you go when you go 4 0 down and it's first to five, then start to wonder what is it that I can do she hasn't particularly played bad just uh, the results gone that way I lost 7-1 yesterday and losing 7-1 in a competition that you play 60 pound for is uh, can hurt a little bit over in the pocket here oh, it's gone in She's covered the bottom left pocket now. It's, again, it's just unlucky. I mean, she's not playing bad. She's playing well. And it's just not falling that way. <laughs> Excuse moi. Oh, that's just wounding. I mean, I'm not quite sure what else uh, Julie can do here. She's, she's not doing much wrong. Um... She's just trying to play a little safety shot, containing safety shot. There wasn't much on, and... Okay, so black is still a little tied up. Entirely sure where it's going to go just yet, but I'm sure Paul will uh, will give us an answer to that question oh so soon. Taking the long one first. This is tough positioning now. And he's overcut it and missed the pot. He'd have been on the red, but nothing really great I mean well, actually you, you could have potted that into the uh, left center stunned into the or screwed into the yellow and uh, left the black the black goes in the middle I think so there's a, a lot of struggling out there now I think Julie really is starting to feel like there's not much she can do Paul just also doing similar things
Okay, so he's on the black ball. Question is, does it go? Nightmare! <laughs> also, a little bit of a nightmare for Julie here as well. There's uh, maybe a, a safety shot that she could... No, she's not happy with that one. And you can't blame her. She's just pushed the black closer to the pocket. She's left Paul a monstrous uh, uh, reach and... I can I can assure you, Paul doesn't like bridging, and he and he doesn't like bridging at the best of times. But he's just wrapped his cue round his body, and he's going to play it like this, and he's rolled it in, and he's. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, it's just the way you win it. No, really, Paul doesn't like reaching for them shots, and he can't reach and bridge at the same time. Is he just finds it too hard? So rolls it in, and uh, well, there we go. That's. Uh, that's it, and that match is over, and we are into the final. It's myself versus Paul McCambridge, and uh, I'll be back with you guys shortly. Well, it's me and Jake in the final. We won't have anyone to do the commentary. If anybody wants to come down and do the commentary for the final, you're more than welcome. Unfortunately, me and Jake will be playing each other. So we don't have a commentator. Who's coming down to commentate?
need a commentator for the final. Who's yeah. going to commentate? Come down. Guys, come down now. Help us out. Come, come and commentate. We need someone who... Uh, Eva, you'll do. I'll see you in a sec. Callum and the con man. Yes, we got two two players in now coming to commentate. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hand you over to them, and me and Paul are gonna go and battle it out with our swords and our baseball bats and our our, our rackets and our and our and our swimming hats and 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 pool cues. So we'll see you soon. Jackson's gonna win then, Calm. Uh, okay. Oh, you reckon for like yeah. I think Jake's got it. I am gonna say five. Put your projections in the chat. Reds look in the better colour there to be fair. Yeah. We ain't commentating. Yeah. Thanks.
Thank you. Probably clear up. Appearance, yeah, against Spill. Pass out of a double. When do I choose this F tile ship? Yeah, to be fair, I think Jake's got it to be good, Joe. The way he's played today has been fucking. Mate, I'm not going to lie, I don't have a clue what to say, so we're just sat here enjoying the pool ourselves. <laughs> Paul will probably take this away now, because he'll get up the table.
The black would be safe. It's not safe to aim. Yeah. Magic. I'm only good at that, just not on stream. <laughs> yeah. Before I thought Paul had that. I'll slam dunk the white there, like. Like Brian shot yesterday, trying to get the red ball out of the, um... Comes off the table, lands in the off circle. Go in the middle. Quite watching Jack play. Goes for most of his.
got jam. It's pure skill. Meant to do it. Right? He's all about the long game. Two nil to Jake. Paul get a comeback now, just like the against Mike. See if he can bring another one out the air. Okay, so we've got to talk like a bit of a gypsy here. I don't know if you can even you, you can, you can use that term. I'm not sure we can, but here we go now. Pull the break, pull the break. Is he going to get a ball? Is he going to get a ball? That's you just go like that, flat out. Oh, right, so we're yeah, non-stop, non-stop. Just, just, just chuck on some bets, like. <laughs> right, get your bets in the chat then. It's yes, right. We've got Mr. Hicks coming down to commentate now, in about five ten minutes. Then you'll actually hear some pool knowledge and what's going on on the table and not just us chatting whatever we can think. How it goes dry, like Break. some of some breaks, like it, it beats me. Like, smash those balls as much around the table, and half the time, nothing goes down. Yes. Hey, where, where's that queue going? Right? Watch him clear these. <coughs> This is what I mean, Jacob. I like magic now because Jerry snookered, but watch it. What it? Where's the black going? 
Fuck you, that was. Oh, he's put it in the top. No, he hasn't. It's rolled oh, off. <laughs> and Jake just got. <laughs> That's how it's done. I thought Jake got the two in one then. That would have been class. Lucky but class.
reckon it doesn't. I reckon Jake will clear from here because he's. I think he could. He's, he, uh, he, he could easily. I think he will. I think he has, yeah. Perfect okay. for the black flag. Finally, we've Gravity. got an actual Gravity. pool knowledge commentator here. Six bikes go four one. Four one. Oh, no. oh, all right. Four one. All right. Hi guys, I'm Hixie Boy. Sorry, I've only just managed to get you for commentating right near the end of the match. But oh. well, how's it been so far? It's been a bit scrappy from what it looked like. Yeah. A couple of shots missed here and there. <clears throat> At least in all fairness, like I thought Jake was gonna clear up a couple of times, but gone for these crazy black finishes and two silly ones. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not paid off. Oh well, he's right. not he's not been getting the right position, so he's no, just yeah. pull something out of the hat, as we say. No, that's alright. Nearly had the two and one though. Lost it though and just sent the, the white into the back instead. Oh, that must have been what it just caught. Yeah. Oh, I was watching it on my phone as I was walking down, and it just cut out. I saw the black fly up and down the table, so that's why that oh, was the yeah, last that's, frame. That was what, was missed, yeah. what I just missed. All right, so pull to break. Let's see. Oh, he's gone for the cut break, or is he going to head on break? What's he going to do? Gone for cut break. It's made of red, so open table now. Hey, Mark, yeah. I got a bit more knowledge. I haven't been about for a while. I've a lot of personal problems, but I'm here again now. So it looks like he's going to go for the reds here. Nice little flicker on that one. I, he's not. But he could. It's easy for He's though. left a tough shot here, but if he can get this one up to the top left bag, leave the one on the right side pocket. That is a great oh, effort. So unlucky, that Un is. Very unlucky. Yellows. They are all there for Jake now, but he's got a. I didn't think he was going to move that. No. If he had left that, there was a good chance if he left it for his last ball. The black in the bottom the right. Black. Yeah, yeah, I got you there. But there's still up. It's still. I think it still goes. Top. I think that yellow still goes down the bottom left hand bag. My eyes haven't been great lately. But just got to. Depends what how he sees it. He's nudged that a bit wrong. I think he's going to have to it's go for either. Back double, maybe a triple if he can't get the angle of it. Or you'll play a cross double and take the right bag. No, he's, no, he's going back double. Yeah. yeah, back double. Bit of a develop. Oh, oh unlucky. that's unlucky. It's not left pull much here. Thin cut down the rail. If Paul just covers that pocket, the reds make it a bit awkward. Paul's waving his arms there, like, what's that? That's not too bad. That's not too bad at the minute, though. If he if he thinks now, play the one at the top of the table, bring the white back down to the bottom right hand side. He'll leave it awkward for Jake. But he's gone for he's opting for the bridge, which doesn't really want to. Oh, he's missed the red completely there and given away two shots. So these aren't actually easy for Jake because even with two shots, you've got to get that yellow out down the bottom. Bottom one, yeah. So, 
move it. He's going to play the red. So probably screw back, leave the yellow to the right hand bag. Much. Still got the middle of the three yellows. Unless the left. Very good shot. Worried at the moment because reds aren't too nice from here. I mean, play a nice controlled shot here to the bottom right. Bridge in, which makes it awkward again. If, for me, I'd probably go now top right. Try and leave the middle. Now go into it off this middle off the he's got the middle. per yeah left yeah. of the two yellows he's got the perfect angle just to do that he's missed the pot, just missed which the very pot, unlucky yeah. That's so it's, a, like, try move. it's hard to develop that white ball and the it's a tough shot the pot, like. yeah it's, it's a tough shot when you're playing split shots you know as soon as you put more pace into the shot yeah it makes the pot harder you know people think oh if you can pot you can pot yeah brilliant can you smash them in and split a ball out and still leave yourself shot? <laughs> no, that's, that's where that's one, where yeah. it becomes tricky, and also that is where a lot of luck comes into the game. Yeah, yeah. You know, balls opted for just a developing safety. So. Bad. Yellow at the top. Yellow. Probably going to play the plant. Yeah. Holding it down. Just play that at a nice pace. <laughs> I think the top red of the two will go past into the bottom yeah. right hand bag. It's very tight. Uh, it's a good chance, you know, he'll naturally cannon into these bottom ones down here if he plays with top spin. Just undercut. Very good effort. Great They're chance now for Jaco, but he's Literally still. Like out, yeah, then... it goes like that though, you know. You guys have been playing all day, yeah. so. Jake was at a competition yesterday oh, yeah. down in uh, the village sports bar uh, in Abercrave. So he, he would have had a long day there yesterday as well. Especially with the yeah. opponent he drew. Oh, yeah, Close. two very tough opponents. Yeah. His first one was. I knew his first. I know of his first one. I can't remember the second one. Steve yeah, Martin, yeah, the only guy who's Welsh player. Recently. Yeah. Seven. I'm pretty sure Steve Martin used is or used to be Welsh A. That is an um, absolute cracking effort at the cross double there by Jake. Unlucky though. Just to catch a knuckle. Jake so is creative, creative yeah. Table, like. Now, practice, see, if so. I was Paul, I would take the one down the rail here first. I know it's a bit strange but you can play it so to leave the bottom ball leave either of them he's covered the pocket and he's got the oh, safe got snooker the but if he had played the one down the rail he would have been able to just stun off the rail with the white and he'd have had the two balls take your pick yeah yeah and if he missed the pot if he played it at the right pace he could have covered the bag yeah so it still makes it awkward whereas now there's nothing covering that bag and if jake gets this escape and pot lucky there Normally very good at getting out yeah, of those and yeah. potting. This I said that at the start of the stream, like magic that boy pulls out. Puts All a safe, lot. But it ain't. <laughs> you gotta remember though, he puts a lot of practice in. Yeah, Jake yeah. does. He puts a lot of hours on the table. It's when me and him and... are only practicing, he always when it gets to the last few frames, plays anything. So, if I was Paul here, I would be taking the one over the pocket. No, yeah, it's a bit of a stretch point. though, but he might just opt to play safe here. Cut to the middle. Doesn't want that white in. <sighs> He's played. Lane. Yeah, I think that red's just bounced out enough to cover the so yellow. Old. He might have left the edge, but he probably left the paint work. Yeah, yeah. Anything. But knowing Jake yet, he's going to go side <laughs> rail. Either try and cut the yellow across into, into the, top the top left bag, left, yeah. or he might roll it and try and put the white in behind the yellow. I'm playing his own safety. Well, if it's a if it's a full ball uh, yeah. total snooker, he doesn't have to hit a cushion afterwards. Remember, so he yeah. can just roll off the, this cushion, as we say, dead weight. He's, he's going for that, yeah. He hasn't quite got it. Oh, that was a great effort. 
<laughs> just needed that perfect. little bit more. <laughs> that little perfect. bit. <laughs> that was br that was perfect. Yeah, because all he needed just a touch on that yellow there. Yeah, and he was. Snoo oh. Well, Paul was snookered back. A great chance now for Paul with two shots. He needs to just make sure he leaves himself. Oh, that's going to go safe. Left himself quite close to this red now. He hard. didn't want to be so close to it. Still a chance. It's just a bit of a jabby shot because you don't want to risk push shot in. Quite. Played that well. He hasn't quite got the pot. It's a devil pocket, pocket that one, isn't it? For the top double Everyone. Because I will go for the top double. He probably will. But. The, tight i'd like the red a bit more to the right of that knuckle if it was me playing it uh one of jake's normally oh, where's, it? Black's got where's it. that black ball black where's thing. that black ball Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <One time. laughs> when that starts happening that's where you sort of go Ooh. oh no <laughs> one nice long shot now does that yellow past the black that is the question he's got to be careful because if he plays it at too much pace he might if he hits this wrong the white's gonna go top right that's the thing you've got to be careful of nearly did he's exactly got, that he's and he's got oh away with God, that, that is wow brutal. The luck on wow <laughs> oh sorry. jake what have you stepped in boy <laughs> get those lot numbers good... on mate <laughs> Depending on how tight he is behind that yellow, though, he might be able to go two cushions oh, and, and down into, into this bottom bottom, bottom left-hand pocket. Get the one over the bag. I'm so I haven't played in so long. My my angles are rusty, so. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I think the possibility of that shot is there. Or you could try, as I said, if you're not too tight in behind the yellow, you could try the twice across. Oh, oh, he's, he's got unlucky at the knuckle. At the knuckle. Yeah, if he wasn't too tight in behind the yellow, he could have tried the twice across. Yeah. So side to side and go for the bottom right hand pocket. Completely. Jake's debating what to do here. Normally, two shots. I would immediately just pick the white up, leave a bit of angle, and come off the side rail, down, leave black in the left middle. Black and middle yeah. Nothing fancy. Just, just a stun off the yeah, rail. There yeah, there you go. In the middle. Four one lead. Why so? I was <laughs> literally. I nearly jumped I, back out. I do <clears> that, <throat> and it comes straight back onto the table. Yeah, hey, you gotta be careful. I was watching some of your game earlier, Callum. I was so unlucky. You need to slow yeah. down. Big time. Off yeah, you had chances. You let him in a few times, and it was you speed up. You get too excited. Yeah, quite literally. Get into my head because I'm just like oh, I'm on my bike to get it. Obviously, Paul was commentating <laughs> on the match, and I was talking yeah. via the chat. So yeah, you were a bit quick, and that, that don't do it. that, Jake. <laughs> All right. We see a nice break and dish for the. Okay, um, I jinxed it. Commentator's curse. No joke, <laughs> like everyone's struggling yeah. with these breaks today. Loads of dry breaks today. It's a bit of a tricky table, this. Mm. First glance, tricky. You don't want to do that. That's a foul. Leaves open table. That does. Because although he's potted a ball, he's potted the white at the same time. Yeah. Open yeah, table to Jake. So his first shot will be a free table. Second shot will he will pot to be on there. Here, uh, if that red on the I'll wait until I see him back on that camera. There you go. There yeah. So if I if that red on the left hand side of the table 
plants the yellow straight into the yellow at the bottom of the table. I'd hit that. I put the white on the far left of the table. Hit the plant for my first shot. That will develop the yellow, both yellows, and then you might be. It'll also develop the red. Depends on how you want to play it. Yeah. You could either he's looking at going with a touch of right hand side. Well, similar thing. Touch aside. That red will go. Yeah, it goes. If he obviously he doesn't want to play it as a plant, he'd rather get down, get the clear the bottom one first, yeah, yeah, then yeah. back up. If I was him, I'd be trying to get onto that lower one. Maybe off this, maybe off, you could nah, maybe off the top one. Now we can leave the angle. No, he's not doing it. He's going to leave maybe the develop. The one, is it? No, well, if he's got the angle, he might. He's either going to go into it off the bottom rail. So he's going to go top and, well, stun with the side and just try and get in behind the bunch. There you go. There's a, where's a the side. Not enough. Oh, I love these. It goes. I Definitely goes now. Because like, yeah. that yellow was the one that was making me think. Gone into it again. Not on it. Don't think he's got this. Hello, covering the angle on those. I think he's. Hard to see from this camera. He couldn't quite get to it, but he has played the white. Knowing that. All awkward, but all plays this right. You can just back in the. Hide the black up. That's not bad thinking at the moment, with Paul having two awkward runs on this left-hand side. No maybe, at a, top, at a glance, maybe if he can get on it. Maybe. I don't know why you're leaning to the right of the know, screen I to see if you can look at it. I, did, I was doing that. He's, Jake's he's, he's potted it. Potted it. He's potted it. Yeah, oh, he's gone. dear. <laughs> that was one thing I was worried about, was... <laughs> If he hit that plant, would it knock the black in? Yeah. <laughs> so, 4 2. Hey, take him. Yeah, no, literally. Take him as you can get him. Keep on a black, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to do it. You know, it's part of the game. Take what you can get. If you get a bit of luck, oh, take it. <laughs> take my prediction is probably three to five. Okay. Well, if he keeps doing that, giving him yeah. <laughs> blacks like that, yeah. But the pattern seems to be two frames, then he gives one away. Or was he so That's an right, absolute beautiful break. Ball there. He's straight down away, immediately wanting the yellows. Rockets and he's the devil, rocketed like. it in, but knuckled it. And that's actually made the table really awkward now Literally, because like, that yellow's gone safe. The other one's gone safe down the bottom of the table. Reds the reds are gone together. <laughs> Don't blame Jake Opton for reds here because he's attempting to split the one above the black. I think he's just landed on it though. Might go past the yeah, black. I think that does it. And I don't think he's even looked at it. No, oh he hasn't. God. He's gone into it. He's tried to go into it. I don't think he even checked to see if that went. Well, he probably I think, did I no joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's letting loose, you know. All the spins are going to come up. They're both just having fun, yeah. which is fine. <laughs> you know. But both, you've all had a long day playing, so... Just enjoy it. Along with that. Actually, I didn't out. realize that yeah. there, there was one... Quite so close to the top left bag. <laughs> Gonna try and get well, into it. Yeah. That's a great effort. Oh, sorry. Either flick, and flick it across to the right now. I'm around the back there, so that's yeah, alright. Yeah. He's just gonna possibly, with that much angle, if he can dead weight this red in and leave himself straight on the one to the bottom right and then put top yeah spin, he's opted for the dead weight he's left himself for that pretty middle. straight yeah
push through the area with the white, get the white down near that yellow. If he's got a touch of angle, then he'll land on the yellow, which is even better. Just took it, his eye off that pot there. Just thinking too much. I need to make sure I get that white yeah. through, and that happens. Paul. Go into these, but that's unlucky. So if, if I was Paul now, I, the two that are right next to each other, I'd push the one, the left one of the two, to the side of the right in behind the. Yeah. I've got you. Snooker him. Yeah. Real tight. He's opted for the pot. Great it's effort. Unlucky. Great effort. But there's a good chance now Jake could double this red above the black into the middle. And screw back. I think he's better off. Yellow, I think he's better off playing this as, well, as possibly a triple. Yeah, he's looking at it. Because oh, yeah. if he if he plays it as a straight double, it's going to flick into the black. Whereas he doesn't want to do that. He wants to leave the black. Oh, went straight. Oh, what a shot! Straighter than he thought. Mm The way he's played that tells me that the black didn't go in the bottom left. He's gonna, he's gonna do a crazy double now because of... No. Pot. I don't think he's so, gonna pot. So, one yet. good pot. Bang! That's like to finish a match like. Slam! <laughs> Wham, bam, <laughs> thank you, ma'am. <laughs> good night. That <laughs> is a amazing pot on the black. Not very often you see him punch one in that hard. <laughs> Literally. And the white stone table. I don't know. <laughs> and Brilliant. The black not come back. Yeah, Paul's celebrating his little runner up prize there. So, well done to the organizer, Jake Bayless, winning the, today's competition. Thank 5 you for 2. For coming and saving the stream. <laughs> I'm sorry I only got you halfway through the match, but I tried my best. You know. What the hell? So, thank you for, uh, for coming and saving the stream. Oh, was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw that there wasn't any much talking going on to us. I, like, yeah. I gotta get down there. I gotta go. I gotta get down there. Right, right we're gonna we, we we do this. We do this quickly, and and we're really sorry about this. But it, it the the drop rate of the stream it just it just plummeted.